there. I'm going to show you how to air tap properly on the Microsoft HoloLens. The problem is that air tap tends to confuse quite a few people to some degree on how to do it properly, which is kind of silly when you think about it because you have two gestures that you have to learn. One is a bloom where you open your hand like a flower in order to bring up the start menu or get out of an app, and you don't use that that much. You really only use one gesture, and it is the air tap, but some people find it a little confusing. It looks like this. You can see when I'm tapping, it reacts by showing the depth mapping of the wall there. Now, you're essentially making an L, and it's it, you can kind of think of it as like one of those big staplers, and you are stapling every time you do it. Of course, you're not really hold, holding your hand like this naturally when you're trying to air tap, you're holding it like this. And that's fine because, as you can see from my perspective, my thumb's jutting out down here, and my finger's meeting it here. The problem is what a lot of people do is this. And you can see it's not really reacting to that. My finger's up here, and you see those two hit together. Sometimes that works. But it's really looking for that meeting, so you want to make sure that your hand is not coming in like that, but instead is out like this, and is meeting on the outside. Once you get the hang of it, it's kind of easy. It seems like almost weird that you couldn't figure it out before uh, when you don't have your hand in the right place, but as soon as you get it, you get it, it's no big deal, and it's easy to control stuff in the hollow lens. However, until you do it, you don't know, and it's very hard to show somebody because they can't see through your perspective, so that's why we have this video demonstrating how to air tap properly. And now, a bloom.